Uh, meanwhile, elsewhere today, West Ham against Spurs finished one apiece. Shaq, your former team much improved after what was a poor start to this game. It really was. And, and I couldn't understand what David Moyes and West Ham were trying to do in, in the first 45. It, it seemed like they were more worried about Spurs counter-attack than, than them playing any kind of football at all. So they would drop off and then every now and then they would press high up and it just seemed weird. And then as it happened, Declan Rice steps up, tries to, to build an attack, he gives the ball away and West Ham go behind thanks to what else but a Spurs counter-attack. In, in the second half, West Ham just played their game. Press mm. Spurs higher up, um, well, were, were far more purposeful, not really, or well, more worried about their own game than, than Spurs' and, and got their just rewards. And, and in the end, um, can come off the field feeling that they dropped two points. There was one that just went um, off across the face of goal right at, at the very death. They had other chances as well. Um, so West Ham, I, I think their uncertain start has played, played um, has had an effect on their confidence. And you're not seeing that kind of self-belief that you show all of last season. Hopefully, this second half performance can change that. It was kind of one half a piece in this game, wasn't it, Jules? Yeah, it was. I agree with Shaq. I think it's a very good summary of, of the game that we saw. Uh, I, I mean, maybe the fact that West Ham started so badly the season that also played in their mind in the sense that they thought if we attack and attack from the beginning, they're going to hit us on the counter. We, we could be two goals down after 15 minutes and then the game is pretty much over. So this is maybe the explanation why they were so cautious, but it, it was counterproductive very clearly. Second half was much better. Lucas Paqueta should make a big difference in this team, really, in terms of creativity, retaining the ball, and just, just having the ball. But like we said before, it's a huge signing for them. He's, he's a wonderful player, but they also need to play to his strength. Again, that first half with Paqueta and your team is pointless. They, they, he will be completely useless for you. The second half is far more the spirit that you should have and the mindset with a player like Paqueta on the pitch for you, for example. So certainly the second half, far more encouraging than anything we've seen so far this season from West Ham. I actually found it a little strange halfway through the first half because I'm thinking to myself, this looks like Tottenham are going forward here. Right. Which is just not what they like to do, particularly away from home. And, and like Shaka, eventually I figured out that West Ham were just sitting on the edge of their box because it was just so unlike Spurs in a derby, a London derby, to go away and actually be pushing forward. But obviously we found out. <laughs> we found out the second half what they're all about, really. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.